Hey everyone, I'm back to bring you guys a brand new episode installment of Jack and Dexter and the Precursor Legacy, and it's going to be brought to you guys by GameAnyone.com. Alright, so if we look at the last episode, I was able to go over to the Mountain Pass, and I was able to stop the Lurkers from using the Detonator, which was, of course, connected to explosives, and now here I am at Volcanic Crater, we went ahead had a cutscene that involves the main villains of this game, which we pretty much forgotten by now, and now I'm, I've got all of the scout flies and i've got the power cell that comes with the scout flies and i've also got all of the precursor orbs all 50 of them in this area so that being said i want to go and use that machine right there but unfortunately i gotta wait for kira to fix it up so i can go up to snowy mountain but however i believe there is a way that i can she can go ahead and fix it now now i looked up on the web at game facts and i found out that apparently you need about three to four more power cells in order to get that machine working so fortunately there are two couple of guys over here that happen to have power cells and i happen to have some precursor orbs so yay me all right yep these are the two guys right here Clearly, someone has done some horrible experiments onto them. Or something, I don't know. Hey, Gordy, uh, I think we got visitors. You think, Willard? Howdy, strangers. Uh, passing through? Uh, us two. Well, we gotta be moving on. Nothing to see here. Duh, I thought you said this was a priceless gem worth Willard! Actually, we want power cells, not gems. We got four of them. Duh. You want them? What Birdbrain here is trying to say is, we may have a few power cells laying around, and we might be willing to part with them for 90 orbs each. Where have I heard that before? Hey, how do you two geniuses expect to get that big gem out of here anyway? Well, smarty pants, we got 12 more years of digging to figure that out. Uh, Gordy. Wouldn't it take less time if you dug too? That's right, people. Naughty Dog has resorted to the dumb character archetype. Boy, where have we seen this one before? Okay, so let's go ahead and trade 90 yards for a power cell with this guy. Alright already. Here's a power cell for those orbs of yours. Might as well just give me all of the power cells you got. This is become pretty tedious when you have to do this over and over again. Especially when you have all of the precursor orbs that you need. All right already. Here's a power cell for those orbs. Which is about 360 total precursor orbs that are needed to get the four power cells. Because 9 times 4 is 36 and, you know, you just add to 0 and then you got yourself 360. All right already. Here's a power cell for those orbs. You're not going to say anything else, huh? Not gonna say anything else different? Okay, fine then. It's not like we're gonna be seeing you again. Oh, oh, yeah, I got it this time. Uh, here's okay. A, uh, here's a, a power cell. Yeah, yeah. What he said. That's it. You cleaned us out. No more power cells. Boy, thanks for that last power cell, Jack and Dexter version of Goofy. Or that, you know, Jack and Dexter version of that one character from the Looney Tunes. You know, that one character the, with that little small guy with the mafia. What was that character's name? Uh, Muggsy or something like that? Yeah, Muggsy. I think that's it. South Park parody uh, those Looney Tunes, that Looney Tune character. Alright, hopefully this will work and I can get into Snowy Mountain. Ah, sweet. Perfect. Alright, let's go up to Snowy Mountain. Now, I know that there's also the Spider Cave too, which you can just easily get to without having to use this machine. However, the problem is, is that if I were to go to Spider Cave right now, then I would have to go ahead and backtrack and go back to Spider Cave later. Because you see, there's a switch at Snowy Mountain that I want to get my hands on and press that will allow me to open up some more of the air vents that will allow me to grab some more eco. In order to get more of the things that I can't get if I were to go there first. I hope you guys weren't confused at what I said. 
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is Snowy Mountain. I seem to remember this most when I played this game for the first time as a kid, honestly. Probably because I had a real hell of a time trying to figure out what to do with Snowy Mountain. And of course, considering this is an ice level, because we all know how game developers are when it comes to physics and ice levels. Am I right, people? So I'll just go ahead and back off. I'll just hit this switch here, just to get it over with. I mean, my main priority is to hit the switch that is deep inside Snowy Mountain, but it doesn't hurt to hit these other switches so you don't have to worry about them too. And the same can be said about the Precursor Orbs. And I'll deal with you right now, and I took the first damage of the game from a snowball of all things. Oh, a giant snowball, but still. Okay, I just need to get a little bit more higher, and no, can't do that. There we go, I know that one's gonna do it. Third time's a charm, I guess. Okay, so let me go on to this one over here. Press that switch. Perfecto. Okay, move out of the way. Just gonna grab these precursors. Oh, well, ah, damn. Well, I was bound to get hit that time. It was gonna happen. Okay, so I'll go ahead and I'll grab the red eco, which if you guys forgotten, and I don't really blame you, it basically gives you super strength. Uh, we already got the power cells, Dexter. I don't know what you're talking- Wait a minute, hold up a second. Let me check something here. Okay, <laughs> I thought that because, um, Dexter said that, that I thought I might have forgotten to uh, trade power cells with someone. Never mind, uh, false alarm. <laughs> Boy, can you guys imagine what would have happened if I actually did that? That would be pretty embarrassing. Okay, finally took that guy out. To let you guys know, you're going to need to take out those type of lurkers in order to deal with these things here for a power cell. For now, though, I want to go to that switch. I mean, you guys are probably questioning why I'm doing the other things, too. Well, I want to just get them finished. Uh, how the hell do I go down there? Ah, screw it. I'll just jump it. Oh, and, uh... I probably should have expected that, and I should have expected this too. Of course, of course, they send me right back to the entrance to Stony Mountain. I mean, this could be good in some ways, and this could be bad in some ways. Uh, wait, what's over here? Oh, wait, you can go down here. Okay, then. I probably should have gone down here instead. To be, to be fair, I didn't actually know this was uh, right here. I, it was pretty, it was well hidden, in my opinion. That's the thing. Okay, grab those precursor orbs right there. I do that little small lurker that actually sink. You can actually deal damage to me. Well, it can because well, it's an enemy. But you get what I understand, or what I said, or what I mean. <sighs> oh goody! There goes that. Those grab those physics. Are nice. Look, I understand why game developers put those ice physics in there when it comes to ice levels. Okay, I don't blame them for doing that. It makes the game feel a little more real. But my god, is it really annoying when it is there. You know what I'm talking about, people? Especially when it you know, comes to levels where it, it, the game design is just so horrible. It's like it's unbearable. I, some of you guys might not understand what I'm talking about, and if you don't, then I don't blame you. But if you understand what I'm talking about, then um, good for you. Just good for you. Okay. Can I just please hit these switches? Thank you. Oh, I'm going to fall. No. No, no. Uh, oh, yay. I made it. Okay, good. Boy, when Jack grabs on a ledge, he grabs on a ledge. I am truly grateful for that. I mean, it's not really a platformer. If you, you know, if the main character you control don't have the ability to get on a ledge or hold on a ledge. Okay, so I'll go over here now and I'll just hit this switch. Okay, perfect. Uh, I don't want to deal with those things, but they're coming real close to me. Uh, forget it. I am, I'll, I'll go over there later. I'm just, I'm just doing all these things there and honestly... It's, they're distracting me. I should have just head over to the switch, and I know exactly where it is. And it's certainly not because I practiced Let's Play this. Nope. It's because of the fact that I was able to remember this as a kid. 
a few couple of years ago. Oh god, I'm getting old. Time goes so fast. Going through here, just gonna roll, because thank god this is a very useful technique. And I'm gonna go through these trees, which actually hit, you know, hide the location of the switch very well here. Oh god, let me go through there, please. Oh, damn it. Uh, okay, well, I'm, I'm glad they didn't send me back to the entrance to Snowy Mountain. Okay, let's go through here. Uh, okay, good. Made it. Okay, I'll wait, I'll wait till it stops. Okay, go now. All right, there we go. Up here. Gotta be careful with the ice. Oh, okay, jump up. Okay, perfect. Made it through there. Oh, there we go. Niceness. Alrighty then. Jump up here and grab the precursor orbs. And there we go. There's a switch, and of course, there's a power cell too. Niceness. And just like that, everybody. Bams. Switch is pressed, and the vents are open, so now I can go ahead and use those vents, which, as you can already tell from the colors, basically is yellow eco vents. And little secret here you can actually go to that area that you're seeing right now from uh, above and such. Okay, good. Now, also, some of you guys might have saw my episode where I was doing the mountain pass, and you might have heard me talk about how I couldn't get that power cell because, unfortunately, the vent was closed. Well, now that I press the, press the switch, the vent should go ahead and be open, so I should be able to get that other power cell in the mountain pass. Okay, now, uh, I pray this might be the way to go down. I think so. Okay, yeah, good. I'll just hit him just because I can. And can him. Okay, there's a switch here. Let me just hit this here. Perfect. I don't know how many of these switch... Oh, god darn it. Get him, get get him. Get... Okay, good, I got him. Oh, come on. Just, boy. God. Jeez, ice physics is going to be a real bitch. Okay. Okay, there we go. Good. Okay, good. Let's see where this leads to. Okay, I know it's more than a small lurker. Uh, can I make it? I think I can long jump it. Yay, I made it! Thank God for long jumping. And this is the first scout fly of the Snowy Mountain. Okay, then. I have. I normally would grab the first uh, scout fly in the beginning of an area when I get to there first. Hit that guy there. Hit him, hit him, hit this little, uh, hit that little thing. All right, get down, buddy. You and me are going to go at it. As soon as I go ahead and get some uh, red eco, because I can't take that thing down alone. Because unfortunately, that thing's actually pretty smart and has a shield. So I just can't go at it head on as much as I want to. Take out the, the shield and bam, the guy's done for. God, I can use some green eco right now. I mean, I know there's small bits of green eco, but I can't get my hands on it because it, you know, it, it, it's it's a long way. If you're gonna go get the get a, some help from that way. Okay. Also, like I said just a few seconds ago, bam. There you see the switch. So yeah, a little bit of trivia right there. Wait, does that even count as trivia? Ah, screw it, I'm counting as trivia. Jump up, jump. Shit. Get up. There we go. Okay, switch has been pressed, and this is right here. Okay. And that one right there. I think that might be the last switch, honestly. If I could just grab up and get it. No, no. Oh. This will do it. Okay. Perfect, and bam, there's a power cell for it. All right, so that is power cell number 71. Oh, actually, no, it's 76, my bad. Made a mistake, people. 
huh, maybe I should start doing rolling, because I think that seems to be a little bit more better than it just trying to slide and such on the ice. Alright, so we'll, we'll see here. What am I missing? Okay, I still got a shit ton more of power cells I need to get my hands on. Take you out. You F off. You F off. God, you guys are just popping out of nowhere, and I just lost another life. Smooth move, Mactin, you dumbass. Okay, uh, let me try it again, but I'll long jump it. Alright, go. Perfect. Alright. Ooh, and I see a scout fly there, and this little thing that's now dead. Go up. Go. Okay, there we go. Ice. All right, good. Here's a vent that's now finally open. And I'll blast this thing here to get another power cell. Boy, this has to be like one of the easiest power cell grabs in the game. Okay, as you probably already would have guessed, you can't get to that power cell unless you go ahead and open up the yellow eco vents. Just so you know. What's up, bro? Oh, I want to blast that thing. Well, at least I got more yellow eco. Damn thing didn't even see it coming. Kind of feel sorry for the little guys, honestly. I couldn't care much about the other lurkers, but the little lurkers right there, you, you kind of got to feel for them, you know? I mean, clearly they're going up against someone that's way bigger than it. Kind of makes you want to have the feels. Oh, no. You go F yourself. I'm not dealing with your ass. Okay, good. That's my third scout fly. Let's get up here now. Ah, well, I was bound to get a, you know, get hit for the third time and lose a life because of this. Okay, well, I didn't, I didn't, you know, go back to where I was before in the beginning of Snowy Mountain, so I'm liking that. As long as I'm, as long as the checkpoints not at Snowy Mountain or the big entrance to Snowy Mountain. Or the elevator that leads down to the volcanic crater. I'm going to be okay with that. I really am. Can I please get my hands on those precursor orbs? That are right there. Ah, shit. I missed one. Perfect. Smooth move. Alright, come on. Let's go ahead and get these. Or that precursor orb. God. Darn it. Oh, God. Ugh. Go, 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 go. Okay, good. Got that. All right. I'm dragging on Perfect. All right. How many uh, precursor orbs do I have right now? Okay. I'm I barely, I'm barely at 50%. Halfway there. You, nope, nope, nope. All right, then. Let's see. So it's like I only just scratched a layer in this level. That's the thing. Got a long way to go here. But I'm willing to see this through to the end. Okay, that thing can be opened, but I need to do something else first. Alright, what's over here now again? I'm trying to remember what's over here. Okay, that leads to, uh, I believe, nowhere from the looks of things. Oh, hold on a second. Yeah, I think I'm supposed to go over there. So I'll just jump down and hopefully not get any damage. Okay. Perfect. And I'll go ahead and I'll put on some red eco. And I'll grab also those precursor orbs. Get off. Oh. Wow, amazing. I just tried to punch that thing while having red eco around me. Apparently, the game still wants you to do the dive attack even though you have red eco. When it comes to those scout fly crates. My god. Well, I might as well just go ahead and deal with these guys so I can get some of the, you know, the, some of the little green egos. Hold up. Let me go back. Let me go back. I want to get myself more raid eco. I have a feeling I'll run out immediately. Hey, what's up, guys? Hope you don't mind getting into a fight with me. Alright, get your ass out there. We gotta fight. 
because the game wants us to. Perfect. Hello, Power Cell. I'll gladly just grab you real fast. Oh, and I've earned a trophy. It's cold out here. Yeah, no shit. I mean, seriously, where I am right now, it's it's pretty cold. I mean, it's still winter as it is recording. And it's very windy, too. It is pretty windy. We have, like, what I think aggro winds right now. Because I live right next to the mountains and such. And it's not all bad, honestly. I mean, I don't really mind the wind. I enjoy the wind sometimes. It's just, when you're driving... And you know, you got that wind coming around there and trying to mess up your driving. Could you get the hell away from me, please? Wow, really? You're just not even gonna let me? Okay, fine, we'll do this. Can you move away now? No, you will not move away. Okay, that's good. So anyways, like, you know, when you have a lot of crazy tough winds and such, and you're driving a car and it moves the car around, it can be somewhat worrisome and bothersome. Especially when you're on a freeway. But anyway, now that that's done, uh, wait, let me go back down here. Because I think there was another way uh, going down to the area. That, or maybe I was thinking of something else, and I died again. Oh, boy. Well, at least the game doesn't penalty you much for the deaths. Or penalize you, that's, that's the right one I was thinking. Penalize, penalize. Okay, so where's that area? Oh, come on, it's, it's, it should be around here. Uh, no, wait, maybe there was another area around here. Because the thing is, is um, if you played the game, you know exactly what I'm trying to do. Because I'm trying to get that gate, uh, pull that gate down so I can go through it. Because there's more stuff in there that I need to get my hands on. But the problem is that I'm kind of, I don't want to say lost, it's just... I'm going the wrong way. That's the saying. That's what I'm trying to say here. Ah. Oh, that was bound to happen. Okay, so let me go up now. Let me see what I can do here. And avoid the giant snowballs. Okay, now let me see. What was over here now again? Okay, yeah, that was that thing. All right, uh, tell you what, guys, I'll just go ahead and I'll see if I can find it off camera. So give me a sec, you guys. I'll be right back, okay? Okay, everyone, I'm back. So here's this area I haven't went before. I think you guys might remember this one here because I chose not to go through this one here. Oh, shit. Okay, then. Oh, uh, wow. There's a lot of these little guys here. And a lot of dark eco cra I gotta be real. Okay, well, I already died, damn it. And I'm back here. Double damn it! Oh, Jesus Christ. The checkpoints in this game, in this game, it's like, whoa. Well, no, this isn't all bad, because at least I can now show you where I was before I died. I basically went through this bridge right here. And. Then I went through this other bridge after getting through the ice. Move over here, Jack. Okay, can you go through here? Okay, there we go. Good. Uh, I'm not in the mood to deal with you. I am, however, in the mood to deal with your little brothers and sisters or your friends. I, I don't know. All right, let's try this crap again. Time must not butcher it. Hey, what's up? Ah, no. God. Oh my god, there's so many of them. That's what she said. Wait, that doesn't count. God, who put these dark ego crates here? I swear. Who exactly put... And I really need the camera to move around. Thank you. Okay, good. I'll just grab myself over here and grab this power cell. Niceness. Okay, and I've also earned a trophy. It's dark in here. Okay, that's good to know. 
All right, so I'm back right here now. Okay, good. Let me seek here. Let me seek real fast. Now, I need to think, where have I not gone to yet? That's the million dollar question here. Have I not been through here? Hold on, maybe I, uh, I think I have been through here, yeah. Oh no, Wait, uh, no, I have been through here. Or have I not? Yeah, I've been through here. I've been through here now, I'm remembering. I am remembering. Boy, it'd be really nice if the game has some type of, I don't know, navigational map or something. I mean, that problem is fixed in the later Jack sequels, but still, this one, it can become real tiresome. I mean, it's not to say that it's difficult to remember everything, but it's like, boy, if you're lost, you are lost in this game. Okay, so let me go ahead and just break open the scout fly. I can't believe I actually missed this one here. Hit that thing. And hit that thing. I'll jump back up here now. Let me go up here. Ah, crap. No, 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 game. Don't do this. Thank you, game. Okay, hold on. I think I finally found it. Okay, yes. This thing is supposed to be over here. Yeah, it's coming back to me now. Yeah, here we go. That's where I was supposed to go to. I apologize, people, for the long wait. But this is what I want to do. Okay, so I got to jump over here on these platforms while making sure I get the precursor orbs, obviously. And of course, as you can tell from the clock sound, the timer, so I gotta be careful. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, no! Darn it. Wait, how many, wait, how many pre court orbs do I have? Okay, I still got a shit ton more to go. Alright then, fine. Okay, let me go over here now. Okay, now I jump up here. Don't die here. Okay, good. Jump here. Gonna. Okay, good. I made it. Perfect. Go. Okay, now we go jump up with these platforms. I think this might be the last set. And there we go. Perfect. Another power cell to the good guys. Or the people that play the game, of course. And just like that, I'm able to go inside that area. Now, there should be a platform that allows me to uh, go back up top. So I don't have to go back to the way I came. There we go. Here it is. Okay, I believe the last power cells and the last precursor orbs are in that place right here. Which is very convenient that the uh, platform leads you right to this place. So once I take care of all of the area in here, I should be able to have 100% of Snowy Mountain so I can go ahead and end the episode. So I'll just go ahead and grab all these things here. I'll go up here now. And I'll just grab that scout fly, and I see scout fly number seven. But right now, I'll need to. You, uh, I was hoping to get uh, some blue eco on Jack, so I can go ahead and unlock those precursor, you know, the precursor device. Gotta try again. Gotta try again. Nope, nope. Come on, camera! Don't do me like that. Get up, 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 Jack! Oh, damn it. <sighs> okay, here we go again with this shit. I'm gonna go ahead and unlock those things. It should be a cakewalk for someone like me. Unfortunately, it has to be difficult. Because why not? There we go, that's what I'm talking about, baby. I don't even care that I got hit right there. Okay, now I should have a lot of precursor orbs from grabbing these. Matter of fact, yeah, I'm almost there. Almost there. 
I'm 24 short of power I mean, of the getting all the precursor orbs. I think this might be my first ever episode of Jack and Dexter where I go over 30 minutes. I don't know. I have to check on that. Can I get food to this here? Just gotta get to that switch. Damn. I can't. I can't get to the switch. Okay, I'll roll it then. Maybe I'll roll. <sighs> or maybe not. Alright, maybe I'll do it here. I'll do it this way, because it seems more better that way. And there we go, I'm through. So I'll go ahead and get on this. And perfect. Now I don't have to worry about doing what I just did anymore. I'll jump up here. Then I'll go ahead. Sorry, I hit the pop filter a minute ago. So if you heard background noise, that was just a pop filter. So get that. Go grab that. Up here, up here, up here. Okay, there's one more. I think that's the last power cell. No, there's actually... Oh, right, I forgot about the... Um, get through the lurker fort and... Oh, yeah, the free scout, seven scout flies. And I'm trying... Sorry, I was trying to get out of first-person view. Wait, where is that scout... Oh, wait, I think I might have missed that... No, the scout flies up there. There's, there it is. God... Darn it. Thank you, camera. Wow, oh, almost there. I'll jump up this way. Jump up that way. And there we go. Scuffly number seven. I think this is the longest time that it took me to go ahead and grab all seven scuffflies out of all the levels I've done in this game. Okay, I'm at 81 now. Okay, can I come down there without having to worry about falling to the ground? Okay, good. Made it through. All right. Goody, more platforming. Up here. Good. Oh, darn it. That's just perfect. Well, at least I can go up here now. Grab these here. 250 precursor orbs, huh? Right here at the stretch, just a few more. Oh my god. Oh boy. I think Snowy Mountain might be the most tiresome level. That I've done right now. When it comes to record. Why did I do that? Oh, and I died. That's just perfect. Go, 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 get it, get it, get it. Okay, good. Got to it. Go from here. Jump up here. And I'll jump up to there. No, not going down yet. Ah, nice. Okay, I think that might be the last two precursor orbs. No, it's not. Okay, I'm missing myself a few. Okay, I believe that is the last power cell. Okay, good. I got all the power cells in this level, so I'm missing eight uh, precursor orbs. Eight precursor orbs. Okay, you know what? I'll go ahead now in this episode here right now, everyone. Uh, I believe there are a few more power cells that I need to get my hand. Well, there are a few more power cells I need to get my hands on, but I think this is a pretty long episode enough. So I'll go ahead now end it here right now. Thanks for watching, everybody, and be safe till next time. Okay. 
I don't know about you guys, but I think some of the guys at Naughty Dog that was developing this game had pretty perverted minds. I mean, look at these things here. Did they not remind you of male organs? I don't know about you guys, but it seemed like Naughty Dog was thinking... Yeah, I think Nutty Dog's more clever than we give him credit for.